Mic check, mic check. It's Thursday. It's 5 o'clock, and you're watching Tony and Chelsea Live, where we review your photos, we give edits, we give suggestions, we teach you about photography, and today we're going to be reviewing your car photos. So if you haven't submitted already, you can do that by going to sdp.io slash submit and submitting one photo, please. That sound is not our mics. Our dog decided to start scratching the rug just as soon as we went live. Like this, yeah. We tried to lock her out before, but she just barks the whole time. So this is our life. What do you want to do? You want to go right into photos? Um, yeah, first I'll say that Frank is not in the studio today, but he is in the comments taking your picture, of taking your comments and sending them to me. So if you have any questions about gear or anything else, you can leave those for Frank and he'll get them to us. Let's go right into the pictures. Okay. And if the camera switching sucks tonight, it's my fault because I'm, I'm doing a little too much. You're doing a lot. So our first photo is from Melon. Yeah, this looks like a sob in front of a sunset. This, and this is good because we can actually provide some feedback here. This is a like, Honda. Oh, okay. I don't know why. It looked like Lake Lucerne to me. So I think I was, uh, that doesn't even make sense. It's not a Swiss, Swiss car. Wow. <laughs> Just <laughs> right out the gate, we're starting with craziness. I, I wish this were underexposed a little bit more because I feel like the sunset here is just a little bit blown out and I, I can recover it a little bit. But this is a good case to bracket photos. You know, take a picture that's overexposed, a picture, picture that's regularly exposed, and a picture that's underexposed, and then blend them together in post, and that'll give you more dynamic range and prevent the highlights from being clipped like that. I used my preset. I have presets specifically for cars, so I went to Retro Orange, and now I brought up the car, uh, and you can see that now you can see a bit more of the car. It's not as much in silhouette. So, yeah. I, I would also crop out that boat from the right side. Yeah, I thought it added a little bit of context of what's going on. Let's keep moving along. We have. A, um, I did not expect to see this. <laughs> no, he rolled his truck in the Everglades. The good news is your frame is like rust free. Living in New England, I, I yeah. really appreciate that. Hey. You see that rarely. Your car is in great condition except for it being upside down. Yeah, that's a really good point. Um, oh, I, this is great. What a great drone shot. What a beautiful section of road. Yeah, I like that you used the shape of the road to make a composition and then the cars are just a part of that. That was a really cool idea. Uh, composition is good. I like the processing on it. I think you could even experiment with long exposures here. You can mm. put an ND filter. You can take really long, like one or two second exposures with a drone. And that would just give a little bit of movement to the cars. That's probably too long. You could probably go one fifteenth or one tenth of a second, but something to experiment with. Show a little movement. All right, let's look at the next one. I, um, I like this story. I like the paperwork on the dash, like they're digging out maps, like they're a little bit lost. Yeah, it, there's something cinematic about it, and I'll say that, like, compositionally, it's not perfect, right? Like, you cut off the car and everything, but it's giving it this candid feel where I feel like I just jumped into the middle of a story and I like that. And I think that the processing is interesting too. I'm going to give this a pick. I like it. I, I just like it. Yeah. I do wish that power lines weren't clipped. Like they kind of disappear here. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay. This already has a very vintage feel, right? Mm -hmm. Like maybe it was scanned from film. Yeah, this is cool. Yeah, I don't. But, to but it does look a little blown out, and that might be the scan, but I'm, I think I'm losing some of the highlights. Yeah, we don't have... Oh, it's shot through a fence, which you did a pretty good job of blurring out the fence. And you got the wheels spinning, you got some panning going on there. That's cool. Good shutter speed. This, is, this counts. This person is thinking outside of the box. And yet the cat... And yet the cat is inside <laughs> the box. Um, <laughs> it's just cute. What am I going to, how am I going to critique this? Well, you got to push the cat along at a de decent speed, use a long shutter speed, blur that background out in a nice panning motion. You think that they should do some panning? If yeah. you tied a rope to the box, you could have someone pull it while you take a picture and pan. I am not recommending you hurt the cat in any way, but I don't know, he looks Plus like he's... because the cat will hurt you. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh look this at car this. is gorgeous. Um, I really like your post-processing, how you made all of the highlights soft and you didn't go super high contrast. It was really nice. 
Yeah, um, I, I feel like it's cropped a little close. It's probably at a car show. I'm sure you're probably trying to frame other things out, but it yeah, just feels a little, see. I wish it were a little wider. I think that you did the best you could do with this situation. I'm yeah. gonna give this a pick. Ooh. Okay. Some Fittipaldi. Um, great panning shot. I'm sure you're at the limit of your camera, but I think if we cropped in a little bit, it could be a little bit more powerful. But I, I am excited to see people with the cars moving because it's so much more dynamic than if the car is just still. I yeah. see you trying to find a preset that I, works. I am, but I actually think that I would just... Hmm. I think actually the blue is kind of cool, but it just needs a little something. I don't know what it is. It's not working. Well, we can't see the tires or the wheels moving. Yeah. So I think, you know, if we were to be able to boost the shadows and get in there and, and crop a little more. Um, but we, we, man, I can't boost the shadows. Yeah, yeah I guess they're, they're really, lost, it's really dark. But we yeah. need to be able to see that the tires are moving, the wheels. Okay. Whoa. Jim Setzer, real car AI background. That was Well, that's a really interesting, interesting. idea. Like, that's a... Replacing the background with AI is a cool concept to recover a photo that was taken at a car show where the background is lots of other cars and spectators and often yeah. attractive things. So I like that idea. I've never tried that before. I'll give me a pick just for having a cool idea. And I don't know what that car is. That's wild. What is this? Oh, it's an Alfa, Alfa. Romeo. Oh. It must be one of their concept cars. Oh, I love yeah. this. This is absolutely gorgeous, right? This looks like a, a scene for senior photos. <laughs> Yeah, you, you need someone to sit on the tire. Yeah, absolutely. David, great job. Wow, what a cool idea. Yeah, I like this shot. Monty working on his classic car that I've never seen before in 1949. I love the way he's lit by his task light there. Um, Great. I'm giving this one a pick. I just really like the story in it. I love everything about this. I think you could play with the mood. A yeah, little bit. It does need a little injection. Um, and I think that, like, you could really just like warm it up. It has a retro feel. Like, let's see. So yeah, I applied my retro yellow preset, and then warmed it up even more. And I just think that you start getting like a little more glow, and it looks, it fits the mood a little better. Did you tell people where to get the presets? No. Okay, we should do that. Oh, uh, here. Wait, did you make a page? Yeah. Oh, great. Okay, I great. call the set Car Show because it's specifically designed for when you're shooting at car shows, but it works on any cars. And um, it's 20 presets, and you can get them at SD. Wait. Just go to Northrop.photo. Yeah. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see it. They're like three yeah. rows down. You'll see the, that picture. And it's nineteen ninety nine. It's a really good deal. It's a good way to. Well, I give them a us. coupon code too. Oh, use the coupon code live yeah. ten. And that also comes with a video on how to use them and stuff. Yeah. So. Okay, so they did a uh, Lego Aston Martin. But they did a great job of integrating it into the yeah. environment. Like the headlights look realistic. You got some glow from the yeah. taillights there. Uh, I'll give you an A for the post-processing. Yeah, really nice. I give you a pick. This is really clever. So there's no excuse. You can't say you don't have a cool no, car to take a picture of. it actually looks great. What? But maybe if the wheels were spinning a little bit. Tell me. There's a rotation tool in Photoshop that does a great <laughs> job of it. Um, this, I love. I'm such a sucker for mm -hmm. detail shots, and I really like this a lot. It's beautiful. It's clean. Um, I think it could work well in black and white, too, just because it doesn't have a lot of color, but it looks good. I, I wish will, the headlights were on. The headlights should be on. I know it's probably a car show. You might not have that option. And I also say you're at ISO 640. You should definitely be at ISO 64 on that D810. Well, because you're at 1 2500th of a second, but yeah. um, you could have lowered your shutter speed. Yeah, exactly. You should be at the base ISO if the subject is still like that. Why is it off to the left? Like, don't you want to move it to the right a little bit? Like, the rule of space dictates it should have some more room in front of it? Yes, but I'm guessing from my experience that there's, like, a person to the right to the left or something else. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure that they just cropped it the way that they had to. But this is a really pretty scene. What about increasing the contrast some? Like, just looking at the histogram, I see everything's sort of in the left half. And maybe if we 
we can just add a little contrast to it. I think a little better. Sure. Okay. Ooh, another, another abstract shot. This is good if you're at a car show or a car museum or something or someplace where the background is busy or there are a lot of people. You can mm -hmm. hone in on the details and then you're not getting all the distractions. Um, this is just really well done. It's cool. I, I don't know what car that is. No, it's cool. Ooh, I like that you have the shot through the bicycle wheel. That's yeah. interesting. Adds a little bit of foreground to it. Mm -hmm. And I like the processing too. It's like really warm. I like that you did these cherry reds with these teal. You made the blues teal. It looks really nice. I wish I could see a before and after because I could tell you did really nice editing on this. Pick a motorcycle. Okay. Our first motorcycle. I, this is sort of a, a, a little bit of a scary looking motorcycle, right? I think we should play into that with the mood a little bit. I would like to get closer to it and get a little bit lower, fill the frame a little bit more, and maybe put it in a place that matches the mood of the bike, like someplace a little bit more gritty, or maybe there's a little bit of fog in the background. The background looks like a nice park on a spring day, but this seems like the, the kind of bike where you should be marauding, right? <laughs> I don't think anyone should be doing that but you know what I was trying out is the um, lens blur tool in Lightroom yeah and I got some background blur going oh, now, that, that definitely helps it helps isolate your subject so I'm showing you in post but you can really easily do it in camera by just going below f63 I don't know which lens did you have oh yeah your, your lens goes to 28 so you could have gotten more background blur um, but yeah, it's it's cool. That is a cool bike. I'd like to see that in like the city streets, like Tony's saying, or like if you wet the pavement too, you'll get mm. you'll get some reflections, and oh, you can turn city on... streets at night with the headlight on, mm -hmm. reflecting off the street. Yeah, yeah. give us there the mood. This is great. You find a great subject like this, like keep shooting with it. That's a really cool bike. Yeah, there really is. Charles Hunter. Oh. I really liked this. Oh, in I the saw group. this in the Lightroom group. Yeah. yeah, we actually do a lot of shots like this, like vertical around the logo. Yeah. Sort of rule of thirds-ish. I like this kind of color blocking look too because you have the teal that you very intentionally included. Your composition is really nice and balanced. It's simple, but it's well done. Pick. I'm going to, and Charles should get like a Lifetime Achievement Award for his greater body of work. He's been yeah. contributing to the readers group like for, I don't know, most of a decade, I think. And I've been loving his work. I've seen his style progress. Like, great work, Charles. I bought a Charles print. I've got to get it printed. Here, this is not a car photo. <laughs> yeah, we like animals so much. We're like, ah, you almost got us. Oh, I like that you did a collage. Yeah, that's kind of cool. They're so much in the same spot. Um, they're kind of like different teams. You have a, a comment for I us, do. Charles? Tommy Papa says, I wish someone would talk to me like Tony talks about drone slash road shots. <laughs> you do get really passionate about yeah. drones. Um, from me, I think that that's Frank. It would be great to have a show where only raw files are submitted. I tried to today, but the DNGs are not a valid image format for the form. Yeah, okay. yeah. I'll see if I can adjust that, and maybe we should do a raw. Yeah, maybe or at we least could allow it. It would be nice to show you our full editing capabilities. Um, Chris Bennett said, "Will you ever do a film photography critique?" And I don't know. We try to keep it like a little bit broad so that people watch, but mm -hmm. maybe if enough people want that. Um, and then Dave ate what said, what about organizing an editing competition? Hmm. An editing competition. Yeah, like we okay. could have them, we'll, we'll give them a picture and then they can all edit it and we can see how it's done. Oh yeah. That's I a cool idea. We did that back in the day. Yeah, we've done that in the group before and it's yeah. interesting to see how everybody handles pictures differently, so. Good, maybe Good I'll send ideas. them one of my favorite photos that didn't quite turn out <laughs> and yeah. see what people see do with it. See if people them. can fix our crappy photos. This, I, I like this, so. Yeah, I think yeah. it'd be a good poster. Oh. I, it, it feels too dark to me, right? Mm -hmm. Switch back to the develop module. I just want to uh, boost the overall exposure some and then boost the shadows some. You know, get, oh, it's green. Oh, yeah. I couldn't even tell that it was green. Do you have a 
preset that would emphasize this? Let me see if I know how to do it. Well, the thing is, I typically do the preset first and then go in and oh, fiddle okay. with the exposure because it's going to bring it back. Ooh, that looks nice. Yeah, that does look like. Now it looks like it's been freshly cleaned, right? If I press Y and we view the before and after, you needed some pop there. Um, otherwise, compositionally, I, I wish we had a little bit more room in front of the car. I understand it was probably bumper to bumper parking. But it's but, still cool. Yeah. I love that car. Good, Good find. That's the thing when you love cars, it's so much fun because you can go anywhere and something you love is there. Yeah. Right? You're like, ah! I just like going to cities like Chicago that have lots of good cars. Mm -hmm. Connecticut's it's, it's a little rough out here. We had some good cars we, we in some. our garage. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to fix the white balance because it's a, a little bit wonky. What am I doing here? It's got mixed light, so you're going to be struggling because you have the natural yeah. light from the window and then the incandescent light, and that is such a rough situation. And sometimes when that happens, I go to black and white, but not now. It's not going to work for us now. This might have actually been a good case for a polarizing filter, and I'm usually not a huge fan of polarizing filters, but they will cut back on reflections. And I usually like the reflections in car, cars. They add to the feeling of the shininess. Yeah. But here, if you look, the reflections here are very distracting because they're of like clothing shelves. <laughs> so maybe a polarizing filter actually would have been helpful. Whoa, this car's so cute. Yeah, and I think we have a little bit of motion blur on the wheels. Um, like wildlife, I think often it's going to be beneficial to get low. And yeah. I think that could have helped here. If, if you had the opportunity, I understand, you know, getting tight, getting low, you, cars going past, you might not always have options, but. That's what still a, cool a very car. cool car. Yeah, I, I love the top here. I know, I've that's crazy. Like that. Oh. Okay, well, that definitely sucks. That does. I also love to see wrecked cars for some reason. You ever have someone cut you off in traffic and then their car is like wrecked in that spot and you're like. Oh, you make a habit of this, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that person parallel parks terribly. Whoa, Thomas. This, this is, is a great beautiful. hero shot of your car. See, car photography is cool because if you're not in the city, you probably have a car anyway. So you have a subject with you all of the time, everywhere you go. Mm -hmm. I'm giving I like, this one a pick. I like that you put the lights on. Um, that's cool. If um, you do. Fog lights on too. Don't forget fog them. Fog lights on too. Another cool thing you can do is bring a flashlight and do a long exposure and then light paint on the car to make it really pop. Mm -hmm. It usually helps to give a little turn to the wheels, I think. Trans I can't. Ex I, I've never seen anything like this. Sorry, I'm just like blown away and kind of confused by the How subject. How do you do that? And oh, they don't want really pigeons funny. on there, but pigeons persist. <laughs> I love it uh it's in vancouver i give it a pick because i wish i could see that in person yeah interesting subject wow uh, this is a great shot i love the setting here kind of makes the car seem more luxury you picked a time with a great sky and that's so important because we see so, so many like plain skies but plan around the lighting and, and look headlights and fog lights on and wheels turned exactly what we yeah described see the turned the wheels pictures. yeah it really helps it gives yeah. it a little action mm -hmm. also i selected my glam silver preset and if you go into the mask and select the car you can bring up the exposure a little bit more just to uh just to make it pop even more so let's do the side by side that's cool. I like it. I give you a pick. Yeah, I even liked it better that you made the grass a little bit darker. Ooh. This is gorgeous. Nice and abstract. I'm giving this one a pick. I don't. I can't even tell what it is, but I love it. I feel like someone would print this and put it in their garage or in their man cave or something. It's yeah. just really a handsome picture. Oh. Wow. I really like this. I just wish we got a little closer to that car's bumper. Like, don't you want it to fill the frame a little bit more? Yeah, this is a... But I like the extreme wide angle. Yeah, this like, is I don't a want cool to shot. just crop it. I want it to be 14 Pick. millimeters, but a little closer. I like that one a lot. It, it looks fun. Looks like a good time. Mm -hmm. This is also cool. And um, I like your composition, how you put so much negative space in the sky. And also the way that you tone the colors is really beautiful. You kind of added this cool teal 
to the sky and it's contrasting the warmth of the sand really nicely and, and the reddish rust of the car. So just like really good color. And um, it was a little overexposed, but I didn't want to lose the white clouds. So I just brought the exposure down and then raised the whites back up. Okay. I, I think this would be a good time to announce the theme of the next show. Okay. So we can go into our slides and our next show theme is going to be color. But I tell you this with something a little bit specific in mind, and that's that I want you to be really creative with your color and use it as the focal point. Like this example is color blocking because we have blue, black, and the yellow. It's like a color blocked feather, but clearly this is all about the color, right? Or I want you to think about color creating a composition. So using a specific color to lead you through the frame. These are just a few examples of how you can really make your photo work with color. Or using color theory and using contrasting colors to really make your photo pop. So here we have the teal blue and like a magenta red. And like I was talking about in that last picture that we reviewed, the color really made it because there were color contrast. If you don't know a lot about that, I previously made an entire video about color theory. And it will do a lot to improve the way your photos look. It's at sdp.io slash color class. And you'll learn all about how to improve your photos when you take them and when you edit them by understanding how color works. So we have a theme next week, but also there's a little lesson if you'd like to improve yourself. Okay. Okay. Back to photos. you have any comments for us? Um, we'll be re-importing soon. So if you yeah. haven't sent a picture, go to sdp.io slash submit. Um, Rebel D says, love you guys. This is off topic, but can you talk about Nikon acquiring red in a future video? What do you think it will do to Nikon's position in the market? We have an entire video planned. Yeah, I did uh, a short today. Yeah. But it, you're limited to one minute. But I'm going to do a whole news piece probably tomorrow. I yeah. really have to rush it out. There's a lot. <laughs> like, it came out of nowhere. I saw even Nikon USA did not know about this. So this is a real surprise and it's going to take me a while to like figure out the financials of red and the market position and but we're, we're going to do our research and we will have a video possibly tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Okay. All right, we'll get that to you. And Mr. Snoop says, would you ever do an aircraft critique? There are a lot of oh, people yeah. who photograph air shows. So I love airplanes. Yeah, Air Force yeah. brat myself. All right. This is called Hood. I, I mean, I know they did the faded look intentionally, but I feel like a little more contrast would help, don't you think? Am I crazy? You're, you are crazy, but I don't think that has anything to do with this picture. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I like it. I like that you focused on the details, so it looks cool. Yeah, that's a great trick. Oh. This feels so, like, off kilter. It seems kind of wild, right? Yeah. <laughs> because it's like there's a little bit of a Dutch tilt to it. There's movement, and I don't know, it, it feels a little scary to me for some reason. Like, don't you feel like something's about to happen? <laughs> Am I the only one having that you feeling? You feel a little scared? I don't know. I just, it seems, it seems wild. Um, I think that it reminds me of, like, a Beastie Boys video, kind of. Yeah, And I see that. it's got an imperfection and a candidness and a grit that makes it interesting, and the car is very cool. Um, and it's taken with a phone, so that's pretty neat. I like it. I just added, like, when your picture is already not great quality, like image quality, and it looks retro like this, like, you can ham it lean up a little it. bit, lean into it, add some grain, like, you know, sometimes that's cool. Oops, sorry. Yeah. It's, the background's cluttered, like, this kid's head is being hit, or this man's head is being hit by this. Um, but that is a really cool car. Yeah, we don't get those in the U.S. I love seeing cars that we don't get. So this is very much like, this is my car in my yeah. neighborhood. Yeah, I like it. And I think they've freshly cleaned it. But we saw from some of those other pictures some of the tips that you can give. Like, wait until you have a cool sky. Turn your headlights and your fog lights on. Turn the wheels a little bit so you see more of the wheel. Like in this case, you would turn the wheels to the left. and. Uh, Otherwise, maybe find a cooler spot, you know, a hill or something, a graffitied wall. <laughs> I'm just bringing up 
the shadows a little bit and um, the contrast as well. And you can see in the before and after, I used my preset again. I'm pushing it hard, guys. <laughs> and, but it did bring up the color. So now you have this like nice popped color and you can see everything looks like a little bit more crisp. Um, but I agree with Tony that you can find a cool background. But I do, there's, when I first saw this, there's something I like about it. Like it almost seems like an ad to me. Like this is the car like your neighbors are going to see it and be like, ooh. They did some car. things right. They got low, they mm -hmm. got close. They filled like the frame that. with an interesting Also, angle. wait, what is their neighbor up to with this big old antenna? I, I found myself so distracted by that oh, antenna. That's actually it's why. It's behind I, their house, I think. It's a tower behind their oh, house. Oh, I thought they were like a ham radio I guy. I thought like they were. Dad. Like, <laughs> oh, your neighbor's the king of the nerds. Okay, Aquila. Whoa. This is a serious police car. Yikes. Chelsea, are you down with OPP? I don't know what that is. Oh I my refuse God. generation to... gap sometimes. No, I know the song. Oh, okay. I just don't know what it means in this context. You're supposed to say, yeah, you know me. You don't know me and you never will. And I remain an enigma on purpose to keep you on your toes and to keep things fresh around here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, <laughs> they got like 35s on this police Hummer. Maybe they're 37s, man. Uh, it's cool. It feels a little cramped. We need a little more space around it, and also if it were, it should be doing something tough, like it should be in a, uh, fording a river or something, right? Something that fits. Fording it. a river, like Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> this is fast. Yeah, look at the smoke. They're doing a cool burnout. I like this. We see some action. It is just chaotic, but it really conveys that feeling that you get at the racetrack sometimes. Okay, so here we have somebody with a vintage car and they did their best to sort of match the era of the car with the style of the editing. Mm -hmm. Something that I like. Yeah. Um, but I think we could simplify it some, right? Like, I, I think it, the shot is the dude and the car and not everything else. Don't you think like this is the story? Like he's checking out the car? Um, I saw something else. I like the leading lines of the street. Okay. So we all like different things. I would still pop the whites a little bit. Like, it was getting a little mushy. Yeah, and maybe there's some more vintagey things, like adding some grain. Oh. oh. I like this. Like, M3 or M4, can't quite tell. I like those wheels. Um, but they found a puddle. They got a nice reflection in there. They added a little something extra. I don't like the words. I, I was bugged by that too. Yeah, you know, if you get a heat gun, heat it up, <laughs> get yourself a piece of plastic, pull it in there, you can peel those right off, and or if you could, I guess you could crop it, but. I glammed it up. Yeah, wow. I don't want to lose all the detail though. Great job, Christopher. Ooh. Uh, this one is great because we have a cool car and it's in a setting that matches it, right? It's all kind of vintage and farmy looking. I applied retro red. And then bump the whites a little more. Let's go up with the highlights too. I think this is so cool because yeah, it's in it its natural like environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just looks like a farmer's truck, so it's nice. Like, if this had been in the city street, it wouldn't have been as good. So, let's give it a pick. But again, get that ISO down. You need to be at ISO 640 for that. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. I could tell there was a car there, but everything got kind of lost. Like, you're at one tenth of a second, but I somehow the car is completely lost, and all we see is the sun. I like out. it. I'm giving it a pick. I think it's weird, and I like it. Okay. V vaping truck. Uh, Wait, where? Is the truck driver vaping or something? I don't know what's vaping about this. Maybe it made all the clouds? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Oh, so many Aston Martins. Yeah, this well, if evening. I see one, I'm taking a picture of it for sure. I like the background. I like that the tree is leaning away. Those and conventions and stuff is that there's a ton of people around and also cars are shiny so you get reflections. Mm -hmm. And that's why I end up doing a lot of detail shots. That's why you made your preset pack. That's why. Bob I gave us a uh, little Dutch tilt. 
on this Bob fire engine gave picture. Us, things are a little akimbo, and I like it. Bobbert. But the wheels are turned, so we're seeing the face of the tire, and I kind of wish they were turned the other way, so we'd see the face of the wheel. I like the red car with the red sign in the background. Yeah, I agree. The color theory here is on point. It's on point. I like it. Oh, Caleb, this, you did something really nice. Yeah, this totally feels like one of those four by six prints that you would get from a film camera, right? Yeah. The, the, the color here is great. I just want to... It's hard um, to explain, but I'm giving it a pick. It just feels... So you took this warm retro truck and you just made the whole scene feel that way. And I love the fruit tree and the way you included the house. You just really found a really beautiful scene. I give you a pick. Yeah, I love it. It's just square, dead center. And your editing matches what the scene feels like. You didn't go yeah. high contrast and sharp you went soft it looks really cool now this is the opposite it is like high contrast and sharp and this works for this car yeah this totally is this a works. mclaren yeah i think it's a McLaren. yeah it's definitely a mclaren Ooh. um i wanted to see a little more look at detail this tony f11 so they got a burst just like you love i i know you i like i'm giving this one a pick. burst boy you need to give it a pick and and it totally matches the environment, the simple lines. It, it's it's a great shot. I still feel like we maybe they could introduce a little more clarity, recover the dynamic range, like raise the shadows some because there is so much uh, blown out uh, highlights and clipped shadows. Yeah. But I feel like it. I feel like it needs a good half hour of editing, and I'm not prepared to do that right now. Sometimes I want to. I love editing, and I just get a little lost here. And I have to remember we got to keep moving. But that was great. Paul. Good. Glad to see some truck Ooh, pictures Paul. here. Did, you brought your truck out and you had fun taking pictures. Yeah, this totally matches the mood of the truck. Like, it's a truck, so it's off-road. You got a gorgeous mm -hmm. sunset. There's no distractions in the background. I think you really nailed this. I Again, I would probably tilt the wheel a little bit more to the left, like a little more angle, so it looks like the wheel was a deliberate, deliberately turned. But you got your headlights on. Great. I can't think of anything I would do different. I like it. Alexis. I I mean, you found a cool area. It looks like this car is being a model here. Um, you got the wheel turned, right? Yeah, they're at one-tenth of a second, so that's about as low as they could possibly go. Mm -hmm. uh, turn the headlights on if you can, but otherwise I like the setting. Good job. Oof. Um, Again, I understand sometimes you don't have an option, but it is clipped in on the left side, and that's uncomfortable for me, and it's almost clipped in on the top. It just feels a little bit crowded. If you're in that situation, I would zoom in a little bit and pick out specific details and go a little bit abstract. Where is this? <laughs> I don't know, and why is this? Is it, it must be like an yeah. art piece in a museum. Remember we saw that art piece five car stud? We oh, went to a yeah, museum in and the Amsterdam? Uh, I think it's somewhere in Germany, but the entire basement of the museum was like black with sand floors except for these cars pointed in a circle with the headlights and like this frozen scene of people. It was so cool. Five car stud if you're interested in art. Okay. Ooh, Ooh okay. This is great. I, I love this. The color, again, the color theory here between color. the color of the car and the so wall cool. here. Everything else is almost black and white. Just great. Got a little, got a little watermark down there. Hmm. Pick. Great shot. And that's an example. You know, when the scene is really crowded, you don't have to get the whole car in the picture. Like mm -hmm. there could have been a lot of people to the right, or there could have been another car in the way. So, you know, you have to use those limitations and kind of work around them. Find a creative way to make it look okay. Whoa. How'd you I, all do all this? I love this. They definitely put a lot of effort in here. They have costumes and lighting. Um, your model struggled with staying still, and as a result, her face is a little bit blurry. Feel free to put the camera on a tripod and stack multiple pictures, like take a picture of the people with a short shutter speed, and then you can blend that Pick. in with longer exposures. Wait. Pick and five stars. Wow. That really took work and it, it's very cool. 
and get those headlights on. Great shot. Oh, one of my favorite cars, the first gen SS with the flip ups. Um, but the environment doesn't match it at all, right? I understand um, you probably just stumbled across this car. It's not the worst environment in that it's pretty simple, but it just doesn't, it immediately takes you out of it, right? Yeah, it's also a little hot. So let me see. Let me see if I can. I think the whole picture is just a bit overexposed and there's only so much I can do at this point because I only have the JPEG. Mm -hmm. But um, on your end, Jenny, I think I like the position of the car. I actually think the scene's pretty cool, especially with the car being blue and the background being like yellows and stuff. Um, I would just lower the exposure a little bit and then work from there. And you can see, I applied a preset, but you can see what I did in the preset is I have two masks. So the first mask is on the car and that's gonna give you control over the exposure of the car. So you can make it darker or lighter if the highlights are too much, you can lower them or raise them. And then the second is the background. So you can you know, work with that and make the background darker if you wanna make the car pop or you know, if you need to bring out the sky or something, it's good to separate them sometimes. But don't go too far and get crazy looking. And I think if you don't have a great environment, if you get the car moving and do a panning shot, you blur the background, you reduce the emphasis on the background. So get the driver in the seat and, uh, you know, get them, especially in an SS, like drop the clutch, do a little burnout, make a little smoke, then pan with it as it goes. We have a panning shot on our site. Can you go to our preset page? Yeah. And I'll show you what it's like if you get someone driving and you practice panning. You might have to do 50 shots to get one with the car in focus. It takes practice, but um, once you get it, you're going to get cool results. And So I'm at Northrop.photo here. Okay. And I'll go down to the preset pack that you all are definitely buying by the thousand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so this is a panning shot. And you can see that the background would have been very cluttered, but by panning, you're making the background smooth and you're making your subject pop. And you can even practice that if you're just on your road as cars go by, you could just practice on various cars. That's what we did here. We just stood there and took like 500 pictures of cars and most of them were um, blurry. So it's, it's just a numbers game when you're doing these panning shots and play around with your shutter speed. You might have to make it faster or slower. A good starting point is the reciprocal of the speed. So if the car is going about 30 miles an hour, start at 1 30th of a second and then adjust up and down from there. Longer shutter speeds will give you generally better results, but a lower hit rate. So choose the shutter, choose a slower shutter speed if you're willing to sort through thousands of pictures. And while we're here, this is just a detail shot I took at a show. So there's like people all around, but you can just zoom in on something that you find interesting and Nobody knows that everything around the car is terrible looking. And guess what? See this shot? I put this shot up on my Instagram and um, a kid reached out to me and was like, that's my dad's car. <laughs> it's a small world in the car world. Okay, let's look at more pictures and I will look at the oh. comments here. Well, it's time for a speed round. So I'm going to start jumping through so that we can re-import and look, for some, look at some pictures that people have sent in during the live show at stp.io slash submit. Not too late. I like this picture of the Civic here. They're doing like everything right. They got the headlights on, they got mood. Uh, mm -hmm. I think I could raise the white point a little bit and emphasize the contrast in the sky some. Yeah. Um, but the raindrops on it look just great. I'd probably remove those stickers. We don't need those. You got the wheel tilted at just the right angle. Great Get shot. Pick. Give you a pick. Oh, I'm pushing the wrong button. Uh, we're doing speed run here. This is a Jeep thing. They give each other rubber ducks. Oh, that's cute. I don't know why they do that. I like this that. Is... Oh. oh my goodness. Okay. Well, you get us Double with a whammy. dog every time. Wow. Where is that beautiful place? This is definitely interesting. Yeah, that car is insane. Oh, whoa. Oh, good. A rolling shot. I'm so glad somebody did like a car to car rolling shot. Heck. There's somebody leaning out the window of another car. And tracking this and you know they're probably they're one fifth fifteenth so they're not going that fast they might be going 30 miles an hour you don't have to be on the highway to make it look like you're going fast yeah but yeah you definitely get a pick I like you've got just enough of her face she looks super happy with what's going on <laughs> this is a fantastic shot right yes. great sky this is amazing yeah great shot 
Whoa. Oh, we got a Tesla with the color shift. I think parking garages are a good location because they're very geometric, very plain. They're not going to distract from the subject. This yeah, could probably pick. be square, crop out some of the bottom. Oh, I like this point of view, like you're peeking and then the cars. That's cool. Yeah, a Is little that bit a Porsche? of a story to it. The GT. No. Um, oh. A car show pick. Always a challenge, right? Yeah. Um, I would definitely like go for symmetrical here and we're just like barely off symmetrical. So I would just crop in a little bit from the side. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this is probably a time to find a detail because there's so much distraction. Whoa. Oh, these old Chevy Blazers. It's yeah, probably those are $100,000. Nice. <laughs> They're so expensive nowadays. Uh, let's go back to the grid view and see. Okay, here we go. See, this is what I was talking about with that SS. He's got the burnout going. He's, he's actually sliding. He's like drifting. Um, you got some sensor dust here. Of course Doesn't you his car say dust. drift? Drift, drift bunny. bunny. Okay. All right. That looks like fun. Oh, I know. This is Tommy Papa's. I, see, you did the thing where you cropped it out because the left of this picture was probably crazy. But I like the geometric shapes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what color this car is, but you might want to go into the color channel and make it a little richer because it's looking flat. So you could add more contrast to mm -hmm. it and just kind of accentuate the lines. Uh, Justin, I really like that you went to the place where this car should live. Yeah. It's exactly. in its natural habitat. You want to bring your car to the natural habitat. Whoa. I like this a lot. You're at 12500 though. This should be a panning shot, right? You should be at 115th and just get a little bit of movement. But he looks super cool. He looks Clouds cool. Clouds behind him. Very do cool. Do your hands fall asleep when you do that kind okay, of thing? we got a lightning here. Uh, I, I feel like this needs an injection of mood, but I like that you included the horse there. Yeah, because it kind of harkens to the Ford brand, you know? Um, Chelsea, maybe mention a circular polarizer and that it can cut down reflections on the shiny car. Yeah, we did talk about polarizers a little bit before. Okay, good. Okay, here's a panning a shot. Pick. I love it. I love that you can barely see him poking out from there. Oh, that's a gorgeous car. That is gorgeous. I also like this, again, a truck in its natural environment. You got the headlights on. There's no distractions. Very nicely done. Um, burnout there. The burnout's nice because the background is so cluttered with all of the ads that it actually makes for a clean background. So that's cool. Yeah, but I, I do think you could probably crop in a little closer. There we go. Um, Whoa. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's great. Cool. Yeah, parking garages can be great locations. I like your detail shot on this mm -hmm. old rotted out car. Very cool. Yeah, this is a great spot. I would do some cloning and get rid of uh, the distractions in there. Ooh. Another nice detail shot. Good. I'm glad oh, this is there. nice. Nathan, you got the starburst in there. I would add a little more room. You could even uncrop in um, Photoshop to get a little room under here. But I think getting lower would have put the foreground subject and the sun, the two focal points a little bit closer to each other and would have improved the composition some. Yeah, and I would just bring up the car a little bit since that's your subject. Bonk. Okay, I did see a Porsche here. <gasps> Every Porsche is going to get a free view. Um, a little tight, but, uh, and, and I think you could have gone longer with the shutter speed. We have a little movement in the wheel, but I like the movement. better done at 160th. I like the movement, Matthew. Wait, is this Matthew too? Let's see. Those do look really similar. All right. Wow, there's so many good ones. Got the TT. Oh, and I like how it's just all gray. I would take out the signs yeah. in the background. Because they're red, my eye just naturally goes there, so they're distracting. But it's, it'll be really easy to um, clone out. Or a little background blur. Oh, Honda, this is my first car that I bought myself. I bought an 83 and a half Honda Prelude. In red, which is the right color. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, give this, this a pick. is a later generation, That's but cool. still. All right. Makes me happy to see it. Let's keep moving through. Someone in the comments had mentioned. Oh, this is Chris Reddick's picture. Whoa. Yeah, got a little K-Man in there. I like that. Um, he's doing so many things right here. It's a long exposure. So the sky becomes an interesting focal point. I kind of wish we had a little bit more of a white point in the sky. So if you'll forgive me, Chris. I'm just going to brighten that up a little bit more without overexposing the subject. I like that. 
I also want to select the car. Are you going to do that? And then I would make it like the color red that it actually is a little bit. Yeah, I feel like it picked up a weird tint. That ha well, because it's all the lights around. Yeah, but yeah, you're picking up some weird pick. I like that. You really set up a whole scene. It looked good. Yeah, great shot, Chris. All right, let's look at one more picture and then we'll import. Oh my God. Wow. I love these trucks. And also, look at, I love the blue with the orange color. I'm all about color. I can't wait till next week's color show. But that sets it off. You have the white sand behind it, the blue sky, the orange car. And it looks fun. Mm -hmm. Pick. I love that. All right, re import. Let me look and see if we have questions. I will re import. You find something to talk about. Okay. Um, there's literally no questions. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have nothing interesting to say. They don't want to. They don't want to know anything. <laughs> they knew enough. Okay. They've heard enough from us. Well, um, unfortunately, we have plenty of pictures to look at. Oh, hi, Chris Green. I'm looking at the chat now. You missed my Porsche shot, says Dav. Sorry. How is that possible? Someone said they keep going out to the natural habitat, but they're having a hard time finding the cars in the wild. And I <laughs> wish that we could just pluck a car you out of the wild. Set up a hide. Let them get comfortable with you. Maybe put out a gas can or something so they learn to approach you and feel safe. <laughs> Whoa. So I think this is probably a legit demolition derby. Like this is something that people actually do. They buy junkers. They put roll cages on. Sometimes they're literally sitting on a milk crate. It is not a safe sport. And then they just smack the crap out of each other. And they Sometimes, make everyone happy. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes it's like the last survivor standing. Sometimes they're actually trying to do laps, but there's no rules. It's like you're playing a video game and you're trying to drive everybody else off the road. This picture is so good because you can Look clearly the see his face. the driver's expression. You have the crowd is not distracting. They're adding to it. They're having a great time. It makes me want to go here and also participate in this sport. Yeah, that Pick. seems fun. This is great. Again, in its natural environment, I headlights on, little tilt to the wheels makes it a little bit more dynamic, but I think this is a great job. And blue is the correct color for that. Yeah, but I also think the background... It looks a little yellow, right? Maybe it's just clay or something? Yeah. Yeah, make it complement the blue, I think. Yeah, I'm making it complement the blue a little bit. But yeah, that's cool. Okay. If it were foggy. Oh. Okay, so classic car show shot, and that it's a very cluttered background. I wonder, I wonder if um, our lens blur would actually help here. There's just too much going on. Yeah, and it's also really close. And so maybe. You and it's not your it. fault, Don. I go to car museums all of the time, and I have a very difficult time getting a photo because they're cluttered the light is just all over the place yeah the color is rough too we can maybe we can balance off of these white walls well no because that's yeah. the right color no there's still just looks, a million yeah, different colors so his first thing was correct but um i've wondered before if i should just pop a flash when i go if that would be allowed because mm -hmm. it could also make the background dark but i don't know i'll have to tell you how that goes if i get in trouble I love this rally car shot. You got low, and that allowed you to actually see some space between the tires and the ground, and that really helps the feeling of height. If you were standing full height, it wouldn't look like such a dramatic jump. You get a pick, and the, the dust behind it, separating it from the background, really great shot. And the fact that he's coming right at you, pretty scary. Mm -hmm. I give you a pick. That one's cool. I like that you um, tilted it, Claudio, and it made it feel like I don't know, like there's more motion and more action, and it's a really good pan, so I'm going to give you a pick. Ooh. Oh, this is the first like studio shot that we've seen. Is it actually a studio shot? I think oh. this might be at a car museum or something. Oh, oh okay, you're right. It's definitely not a studio. No. It could just be a street or something, and they did some post processing. Sorry yeah. to completely ruin it, but I, I love what you did. This. Jen Corvette had such a classic silhouette, and you just highlighted it perfectly. What is this, a C2? Yeah, I think so. Really beautiful. The hot rod dealer. This is very like not Nighthawks, but for car enthusiasts, for any Edward <laughs> Hopper people. I'll give you a pick. Um, okay. Hieronymus Bosch. I was going to guess this was Havana. 
I mean, I guess it could be. Wow. It's 125th of a second, F28, like... It's, yeah, it's a mm. little shaky, and you just, you solve that by just taking thousands of pictures and picking the ones that happen. I like the, the mood. I can hear it. I don't know why, but I hear the sound of cars driving on wet pavement and, like, the city night. So it definitely has a mood. Yeah. This is what we were talking about, like, closing up on mm. an interesting detail. Mm -hmm. This one, the signature, the Jaguar leaping off the hood. So I did my retro blue preset, and it just gives it like a little green, a little color stuff going on. Yeah, I like that. That definitely made it a little more and I give interesting. And I give it a pick. Good teamwork we did there. I like that you isolated the details. And another thing is that the blue and the red complement each other very nicely. <clears throat> oh my gosh, look at the little lamb. Such a cute scene. Yeah, and they did a pretty good job of making this look like an actual vintage I just want to be there. Nice picture, Brent. Samantha, I like you tilted the wheel. I think you've got good light. Now is the fun part in editing. You could add so much like fun and pizzazz. Um, let's see. And then I think it's also nice to go in and select the sky because it's very bright and we can bring down, bring up the contrast. And then also, I want to go into the color channels a little more because I think the yellow could be yellowing more. The yellow grass should be more yellow? No, the yellow, yeah. Oh, because often I'll pull it towards green so it just looks fake or it looks more like real grass. We have a tip. You, you blurred the license plate out there and often you don't want to show your license plate. We bought a license plate branded for our car, like a Porsche license plate, and we made a little thing so we can hang it over the license plate when we take pictures. Isn't that corny? <laughs> no, I think that's a useful thing. Get, a, <laughs> get an extra license plate and hang it over your plate when you go to take pictures of it. And I think for a Camaro, Camaro's kind of like a badass car. Moody skies, fog or something. It is a badass car. I just blurred the background too so you can see. You're at F7, so... And you had an F451, so I guess you could have gone, blurred it a little more, but I did it artificially, and you can see like it's sharp, and now it's more like the idea of the background. I yeah, think that kind of works. I think that helps. Ooh, Bev. I'm loving all these. I, I want to get lower. Get low. Yeah, that's what I would do here. But Show I, a little more nice. depth. This looks okay. parked. Let's see. You're at yeah, 1 800. There's a little wheel spin, but unless he's going 800 miles an hour. Like one eight hundredth is going to be too fast. So you can pan. You can also try to fake it in processing. But ideally, you're just going to practice that panning. Yeah. But I love the car. What is this? A GT three? I don't know. Charlie nice. Gibson. Great. Um, beautiful car. Little cramped again I, I we could definitely do with a little bit of background blur or something to separate it from the background i like that Ooh! wow so they walt definitely brought the dramatic skies for us that's something we've been asking for um unfortunately i think the car is so dark that it's kind of lost but this might be a good time for a little bit of light painting pop a flash uh experiment because it, it's almost completely in shadow so it's not getting any light on it yeah, it's also like... Maybe it's a little too much with the localized contrast. Yeah, I think the contrast could be less because there's so much texture that you're losing form. So it's okay to... You want contrast in your texture too. Like you want some things to be a little smoother and some things to be textury. So the car, since it's the subject, you could have that more in focus and then like something should be smooth. Contrast is everywhere. There's color contrast, there's light and dark, there's texture. So here we have a post portrait, and I think it's the first one we've seen. But look, he has my little license plate. Oh my thing gosh, that we're I was just talking, talking about, about that. Okay. okay. It's a thing. Um, it feels a little off level, but well, I guess the road is actually banked a little because I think if I tilted it anymore, the buildings themselves yeah, are Yeah, the buildings level, are so. straight, so I think it's fine. And I like his pose. you got really beautiful lighting on him. This looks so pro. Uh, I'm sure he was thrilled. And wait, is this you? Um, yeah, it's a very cool picture. I think... Like American James Bond. 
Very cool. I love it. I'm going to give it I a pick. Th I think you could even go in and kind of just um, darken the edges a little bit to, to get rid of some of these distractions. Like, oh, wow, I did a really bad job. But, you know, more skillfully. Okay, I screwed it up. You know what? No, but I know what you mean. Like, that SUV poking in there is it's definitely white, not too. good. Uh, maybe we could just crop it out and go one-to-one. -one. That's better, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. One of us. What? <laughs> okay. It's not supposed... That is not ideal. That's definitely, how I drive to the grocery store. Definitely get better turning radius when all four wheels are on the ground. I also will say... If I get, I would select the subject, and then you can go in and invert the selection and just make the background a little darker and add contrast to the background. And now your subject is more prominent. <laughs> Very That's cool shot. so cool. You need some downforce. Yeah, the I first person that, that actually happened. need. Yeah. How do we get out of here? Oh, uh, it's not the last picture. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. Well, that's crazy. I okay. Everything's going wild with Lightroom. Let's see. Lightroom has been giving me so oh. many problems today. <laughs> that's funny. I saw this and I was like, "Oh, this is the like same M3 that Frank has." Frank. And it is actually Frank's picture. Frank. Okay, great shot, Frank. You have no distractions in the background. You got your headlights on. It feels a little dark to me. Don't you want to just raise it up a little bit? Oh, I don't know. When I raise it up, then it feels like... No, no, no. I like no, it dark right. because... It needs to be a little bit mysterious. The headlights are popping. Yeah. Um, I love it, and I like your car a lot. Yeah, that's a great car. Doug G asks, any news on a Connecticut meetup? We haven't taken the meetup off the table. It's just the weather here is miserable right now, and we'd like to be outside. So, like, spring... Early summer would yeah, probably be good. It's it a little reliably warm. Yeah, it's been pretty bad around we'll here. Definitely do something. A car meetup, a car slash photo meetup. <laughs> That's a good idea. My dream. You get to With come pizza, and bring a cool car. Cars, photos, pizza, beer. We're about to wrap up. We'll look at a couple more pictures. We got Ooh, through most people's pictures. That today. was an hour Thank already. You. I know it's getting close, right? Greg, this is such a cool car, but you're at one twenty-five hundredth of a second. I think it's driving, but you can see, oh, there's just the tiniest amount of wheel blur. Get yourself down to like one sixtieth or something and just take hundreds and hundreds of shots. And Start sort of fast like that and then gradually put it down so that you get some shot. But whoa, yeah, Eddie. Great shot here from Eddie. Eddie, you're blowing my mind. This is great. Yeah, I feel like it could be a little brighter. Oh, yeah, it could be brighter. Yeah. We're fighting over the curse. Yeah, I like to fight. Oh, yeah. I actually want to make that glow a little bit. Ooh. Um, oh. I don't know that I love the flaring here. Um, but I almost wonder if you could have gotten closer and tilted up a little bit because it feels like a little bit too much road here. But this I is like such a it. great shot. I'm just trying to give you some useful feedback. I, I think it's just fantastic. You also Flowers posed a woman with a car in a respectful way. That, like, I get tired of seeing the really cheesy ones where they're just like, what are you doing with that car, lady? But this is just nice. Yeah, we actually haven't seen any of those like 80s poster shots. Yeah. Some car with a woman draped over it. You know how, what a bummer it is to be a little girl in like cars and then you always see that? You're like, what's that got to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're definitely stopping on this car. Oh, is this a 992? This yeah, is my you car. You gotta look at the light bar there. It's in Europe though. Um, and it might actually be the same color. I really like it. You can see one thirtieth of a second is plenty to provide crazy blur. It is going away from you, and I think as a result, the front end is kind of uh, shaky while the back end is nice and sharp. But you have so much movement, it almost comes across as abstract. You get a pick. Okay, let's remind them. Next week, our theme is going to be color, and I have a whole video you can watch if you want to learn more about that. Um, and try to make sure that the color is actually like a really dominant part of the picture. And you can submit your pictures at sdp.io slash submit. And also, if you enjoyed my presets or if you just want to thank us for the show, you can get those at northrop.photo, and we have a coupon code for that as well. Live 10. So thanks, and we'll see you next week. I just realized we actually have to turn off the show because we don't have a producer here. <laughs> I can push this. Bye. Wait, no, I pushed the wrong button there. Bye.
That is all. That is all. Run. Run.